Welcome to the first session of the TIA portal training. In today's session, we are going to discuss how we can create a simple project in the TIA portal. But before starting, as always, I would really like you guys to please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get notification for the upcoming new tutorials regarding TIA portal training. We are covering basic, intermediate and advanced level programming in the TIA portal in these sessions. So don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification for the upcoming video tutorials. First of all we will open the TIA portal by double clicking on this TIA portal icon so this new window is open up here so first of all we will click on the create new project and here we can give this project any names we can put it as first session basic and next we will just click on the create button so it will create a new project next we will add a plc in our project so we will click in this tab plc programming and here we have to create a new device so we will click here and it will open another window so here we have all of our controllers cpu so from these plcs we can select anyone so for today's tutorial we will open this s7 300 cpus and we will select 314-2dp and here we will select this first one and click ok so now our plc is added into our project next we will click on this project view tab so it will take us to the project view window here most of the work we will do and we will expand this devices and networks we can click on it and here we can see our cpu is added on our project and next thing which we want to do is here is that we will expand it here and we will select this device configuration we will double click on it our plc is added on to our plc rack and we will click on it or the cpu and we will click on these properties and here all the properties are mentioned we can change these as per our requirement and if we click here in this tab io tags and in this window it is showing all the inputs and outputs of this cpu this includes the analog inputs analog outputs digital inputs and digital outputs here you can see that our digital inputs are starting from i124.0 and it goes all the way up to 126.7 and the digital outputs are starting from q124.0 all the way up to 125.7 so total of 16 digital outputs so now we know that our digital inputs and digital outputs addresses so next thing we want to do is to do some programming in this cpu so to make a program we will go to the program blocks we will expand this folder and double click on this ob1 which is organization block one which is a main block which is by default added into any cpu we can open this one and here you can see that already is, there is a network one and we can make a ladder logic in this network and we can change the programming for this block from here and it can be a ladder function black diagram and stl so for today we will select a ladder diagram so first of all we will insert a no contact i124.0 which is our first digital input and we can change the tag name as first input and as you can see that the tag name has been changed and next we will add a coil output coil and we can write its address as q124.0 which is our first digital output and we can rename its tag as so we have created a simple ladder here whenever our first digital input is on it should turn on 
the Q124.0 which is our first digital output. So whenever this input is on, it should turn on this output coil. So next thing which we want to do here is that we want to simulate our program. So to run a simulator, we have to click here. We will click here to start the simulation. And our PLC simulator is started. And first of all, we will change its interface from TCP IP to MPI. So our program will be uploaded into the simulator through the MPI bus. So we will start to search the CPU. And as you can see that it has detected our simulator. So we'll just click on this load button. It will start to compile and check and and check for any errors in the program if everything is okay and now you can see that our program is ready to load we will just click on the road button and the program is loaded into this simulator now we will run this simulator and the next thing which i want to do here is that we will go online to this simulator to check what's happening so we'll go online by clicking on this online button and we will monitor our ladder logic by clicking on this icon as you can see that everything is running fine there is no error in our cpu everything is green and here we can select our output byte which is 124 and input byte which is also 124 so this is our first digital input which is i124.0 now if i turn on this one it should energize or turn on this output which is q124.0 here so we will activate our input i124.0 and as you can see that as soon as this input goes high it has turned on our first digital output q124.0 and here in the simulator it is also indicated that our q124.0 bit is on so here is the first session on the tia portal programming in this session we have learned how we can create a simple project in the tia portal and how we can simulate this project using the plc simulator in the next session, we will see how we can use these instructions, bit logic, timers and counters, math functions. So slowly we will go through all these instructions in our upcoming sessions. So to stay connected with us, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever we upload the new videos regarding the TIA portal programming tutorials. So till next time. Take care and goodbye.